Now let's make our image hotspots interactive with the help of PineGrow Interaction. The concept is that the hotspots content should be hidden at first, and when clicking on a numbered button, the respective hotspot content should appear. Okay, let's hide the content block when the page loads. On the tree panel, go to the first hotspot block and select hotspot dash dash content. Go to the interactions panel and click on activate interactions. From the actions list, click on hide at start. Now our content block should hide. Content blocks on all the hotspots should be hidden, so let's apply this to all the content blocks. Go to the actions list and click on apply to many. For target, click on edit selector. In the pop-up, enter dollar sign dot hotspot dash dash content and click OK. Adding the dollar sign in front of a class allows you to select all the elements with that class name. This way we are applying the same action to all the hotspot dash dash content blocks. Refresh the page and all the hotspot dash dash content blocks should now be hidden. Next we have to apply interactions to the button so that it will reveal and hide the content block. From the tree panel, select the button of the first hotspot block. Go to the interactions panel and from the actions list, click on interaction. Your interaction settings should appear. For trigger, select click on. For target, click on edit selector. In the pop-up, enter caret.hotspot pipe.hotspot dash dash content. The caret sign allows you to target the parental element and the pipe targets the child element. Our selector targets the parent dot hotspot element and then targets its child dot hotspot dash dash content block. Now click OK. Now click on edit animation to add custom animation for our interaction the timeline editor should appear. Click on the blank area to add a new transition. For type, select set. For position, enter zero. Click on add property, opacity, auto opacity. For auto opacity, enter zero. Click on add property, transform, Select Y. For Y, enter minus 20%. Now create another transition by clicking on the blank area and keep tween selected. For position, enter zero. For duration, enter 0 0.25. Click on add property, opacity, auto opacity. Enter 1 for auto opacity. Click on Add Property, Transform, and select Y. For Y, enter 0%. Now test the interaction by holding the Alt key on your keyboard and clicking on the button. Our content block is appearing as we click, but it is not closing on the next click. We can easily implement this from the interaction settings. On the interaction setting, click on advanced options and then enable alternate forward slash reverse. Now press alt and click on the button again and our content block should reveal on the first click and hide as we click it again. The interaction for one of the hotspots is done, so let's apply this to all the other hotspots. Keep the button selected. Go to Actions List and click on Apply to Many. For Target, click on Edit Selector. On the pop-up, enter dollar sign dot hotspot dash dash trigger and click OK. Now the interaction is applied to all the buttons. Refresh the page and we can click on them and check it. 
With this, we've completed our image hotspots example. You can use this example and implement different style variations. This concludes our tutorial for making image hotspots with PineGrow interactions. I hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us via email or through the PineGrow forum. We will be coming up with more videos related to PineGrow interactions and how-to videos for creating more interactive animations, so keep watching and following. Thank you for your time and we'll see you in the next video.